guys, thank you for joining us for this room or mail. My name is Sinash Nicole. And I'm your girl Astrid. And today, we're, you see we've created a theme here. Yeah, we have a theme one. Yes, oh, we, this is the ABH Nervina Palette Volume 3 Palette. Look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. Oh! Yes. Yeah. So this one's obviously more of a fall theme yes. uh, compared to the other two. And this was like a bright orange color very much i don't know i think we hit it dead on with yeah the, i think we did with too. the shirts yeah and then of course she's got like beautiful little golden butterflies, and butterflies all yes. over the place um so this i'm excited about because i've heard this one's the most uh, versatile palette like this is mm -hmm. the one that people would like user friendly more. yeah user friendly not even though it's a pro palette this is the one that let's look at out that packaging Ooh. sorry i almost hit you in the face yeah it's okay <laughs> it's okay sorry Okay, and then of course it's the exact same packaging as the um, other two. So a 25 deluxe size pan. Mm -hmm. Of course you got the big mirror down there. And yes. then this is the color story. Very lovely. So beautiful. Very lovely. I love that there's still these fantastical greens in the midst of the warm. Mm -hmm. So very much fall like. Yes. So just like the other ones, we're just gonna go ahead and get started mm -hmm. and um, just start applying the color, let you know which colors we're gonna be using for our looks. And our looks are gonna be very different like the other two videos. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> I think that I think it's really cool though that people get a two for one. Yeah, well, you get to because not everybody is you know like the not everybody like me. So yeah, hopefully, very you're, true. Hopefully, you're one of us or in between. Yes, somewhere <laughs> in between. Yeah, so I'll let you go first and I'll show them what color. Okay, so I'm gonna start with a three just because that looks like a ooh, it looks like a transition color for me, um, in the way that it's my skin tone. Okay. Just because I want to help build out a shape with it. Oh, okay, cool. And I was actually gonna use D one, which is. Kind of still, like in the same family, but I feel like this one's a little bit deeper. It is deeper, yeah. Deeper. And okay. You ever feel like sometimes with all the brushes we have, you don't really know which one to use yes. first? Yes, I struggle many times. Many okay. times figuring out which one. I'm gonna go with my e.l.f. brush, which is a shadow brush. I'm yeah, I'm using e.l.f. too. This is a blending eye brush. <laughs> which will be for me a five. And what about you? I'm gonna yeah. go in with the brightest red in here, or the only red really, it's um, C2. C2. And A5 is down here in the corner. This almost neon orange. Oh, that'll be interesting. Yes, it will be. Hmm. I have not even swatched this color, so. Yep, I haven't yeah. swatched mine either. Uh, because we reviewed so many eyeshadow palettes, uh, it's really interesting to go in and see something that you see is actually worth the price point. Yes. It's not like yes. chalky or hard to blend or any of those other issues that we've had, so I'm glad we have that comparison there. Even if I didn't, I'd be like, wow, these shadows are actually really good. Right. It's almost like you, I don't even know, like, I think I'm going to be comparing this, like, all other things to this. Like, this is going to be the holy grail for you? Yeah. As far as, like, pigmentation, payoff, and all that stuff. Which you guys mm -hmm. have already seen by our other videos just how crazy pigmented these really are. So okay. I believe my next one is this kind of purple brown burgundy. I don't know how to describe it. We're it, so great at description. I know, right? But you, you'll understand. This is C4 right here. That's what I'm gonna go in with next to deepen my um. Oh yeah, that's my, actually really close. Crease. Yeah, with really my close. Ears. I was gonna say it's really close to what I was gonna use because I'm actually gonna go in with D2. Right there, that's D2. Oh yeah. So I think I'm just on the higher end of the vibrant C spectrum of and what you're I'm, doing. I'm not. <laughs> trying to follow what you do with your hands. <laughs> we haven't upped our eye brush game. Mm -hmm. Like we have our eyeshadow palette game. Mm -hmm. But I really love these elf brushes. Yeah. Like I don't know what it is. I just really like them. It's a dollar and it works 
It works. I think that's the biggest problem that people forget that needs to happen with brushes. They need to work. Ooh, I like this. I'm okay. curious to see what it looks like on you because this is very dark. Mm -hmm. you know, that looks more... This is not as dark as it looks on you. Although I am like just a shade lighter. This is actually pretty purple. And I didn't think it was gonna be that purple. Oh, and I'm just blending all of this out. Purple and orange usually are very hard to blend. I mean, I know it's gonna sound kind of bad, but I'm gonna say it anyways. Like, whenever someone's moving into the neighborhood, I have to. It irks me, because it happened the other day. Somebody was moving into the neighborhood, uh -huh. and they took up the entire row of parking uh, spots. Oh, right no, in front with of, the U-Haul? Yes, right in front of my apartment complex. And it wasn't like, that was their only option. Like they could have like parked in a manner yes. as to not block all those parking spots. So of course, you know, right off of work and you know, you just wanna get home right after work. And I pulled up and was like, well, looks like I'm parking in the bottom of the hill today because somebody decided to, you know. So I didn't make eye contact when I saw them. I was just like, mm. I don't know if it's gonna get along. Or like this this might not be a beautiful relationship. Okay, at this point, I actually think I'm gonna cut my crease because mm -hmm. I want like this entire my entire lid. Mm -hmm. I want it to be a completely different experience. I see. So if you know anything about me, you know I'm new to cutting my crease, so please don't judge me. This is a safe place. Okay. Yeah, it is a safe place. So you can see I have the base down and the wing shape that I am going to make. Um, or the wing, yes, the wing shape and the wing in general that I'm going to do with this. And but it's going to be this really pretty green. I'm going to show you guys as you fan away. I'm going to be using C5 as the color of this liner that I've created here. All right, guys, so while she does that, I'm going to go ahead and go in with D5, which is this really beautiful, um, it has some gold in there, but as it transitions, it's actually a very beautiful, like, orangey type mm -hmm. of tint. It's a shimmer, so I'm going to put it on my inner corner, right where I cut my crease. Actually, the color that I'm gonna use right here as a little pop. Get out. Yep. Yep. I did not See know that's where you were going. Nope. Uh, I don't like to tell you because it's still my color. <laughs> yep. All right. So this is the bare bones, folks. Bare bones. And um, so we're, we are going to uh, snap into the full look. We will give you our very biased review <laughs> in just Fairly. a second. You ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, one, one two, two, three. All right, guys. Yeah. We went there. We did go there. Yeah, this, yeah. Looks, this looks very much like a summer look that I was able to pull out of a fall palette. I, I like know. it, yeah, that's what I'm yeah. saying. I really like the way that this turned out because it's yeah. two completely different views okay so our final thoughts on this palette uh, we're just gonna go straight for it so just yeah. to review this is the abh uh collection norvina collection and this is a 25 deluxe size pan eyeshadow mm -hmm. palette mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it retails for 60 dollars find it at ulta sephora and Nordstrom, of course yes um let's just talk about the color story the color story is very um it, it has vibrant and warm tones which is good for fall. I think that's the good transition coming out of the summer's palette into the fall palette. Um, my only concern about this color story is that there's no black in it. I knew you were gonna say that. And um, <laughs> for me, to, for it to be a professional palette, not all professional palettes need black, but I do think for it to truly be one you can just take anywhere, you should have a black in there. And right. so- It doesn't I, even have a, like a dark, 
uh, brown. No, even, it doesn't. Like the other two. So yeah, yeah. that's a really good point. I did mm -hmm. notice that straight off the bat. I was like, oh, it's really pretty and nice, but there's some black in I'm there. Just, like I would have to bring another black or another dark brown with me separate yes. from this. Um, but other than that, I really did think this was a little bit more um, versatile. Yeah, yeah, like user friendly. I yeah. think if I had uh, to save up for it and like because you know sixty dollars either way around so if I had to save up yes. for one I would definitely save up for the volume three mm -hmm. I think you could do a colorful look and then you yeah. can also go more fall like mm -hmm. so I really like that um, the packaging pretty much the same as yes. the other two there's very no durable difference. deluxe yeah. beautiful just course, very nice you know has a big old mirror like mm -hmm. we like it um feels very fancy yes and of course she uh, named the colors in an alphanumeric way the same as the other two so mm -hmm. that's really nice as well um as far as the formula when you're putting this on um i did notice it was kind of the same as the other two very good quality very blendable very very blendable but i did see that there was some fallout in this one the other ones as much as i dug into it even the foil type ones mm -hmm. i didn't really have any but there was okay. some in this one maybe because they're warmer tones those tend to be pigments that you can't press as hard so that could That's be true. it but um there was a little fallout in this one versus like none in on the other two one. yeah i think this was honestly a very very good palette yes and is it safe to say that it's Rumor mill approved? Of, of course it yeah. is. It's very rumor mill approved. Yes. <laughs> okay, great. So we hope you guys enjoyed this palette. I hope mm -hmm. it um, helped you guys kind of see the versatility in it. We love yes. playing in the palette. Yes. If you liked the video, just make sure, like always, give it a thumbs up. Mm -hmm. Also, subscribe to our channel if you have not yes. done so already. Hit that notification bell and you will get all notified of all the videos that we come out for in the future. Absolutely. And then also go to our Instagram and our other social media handles. That's at Rumor Mill, R U M O R. M E A L, and we also have our lookbook website that's it's rumormail.com. You'll be able to see our full looks there, and um, that link is in the description below. Awesome! So that pretty much sums up this video. Thank yeah. you for sticking with us, and we will catch you guys on the next one. Uh -huh. Bye. Bye.